The Petroleum Industry Act has a provision that all petroleum products must be deregulated. And in the 2020 budget, we made a provision to assume that at the maximum, by the end of June, we must exit subsidy. So this last fact, the subsidy cost to the Federation was, 400, uh, was $243 billion. So if you look at a cost of about $250 billion per month, and it has been increasing consistently, so we came, we got, uh, we got something like, um, we're expecting something like 120 billion per month from NMPC. And now we're getting to a point when NMPC is, is remitting near zero. And if we don't stop, we'll get to a point when they'll be giving us a bill to say, you have to actually pay me this for, for managing uh, um, the fuel uh, provision in the, in the country. So if you take 250 billion, times 12 months. That is about three trillion naira. If we don't remove that, that is what is costing us. This is money that we can use to apply to health and to education. The intervention we want to provide, it's, it's so we said between 20 to 40 million people, and there's still a lot of work going on within a committee that is chaired by His Excellency, the Vice President, with the states as members, and a few of us ministers as members. So we have to do, have a landing as to the exact number between 20 to 40. We already agreed it would be 5,000 Naira. And we also agreed that the remittances have to be done digitally. So the e-Naira will help, but also so are the various payment platforms that are currently available. What we will not do is paying people in cash. So it will be transfers that people will, will receive through one kind of uh, electronic money or, or, or the other. And it's meant to be for a period of six, nine, or 12 months. So those are things that were still negotiation because it's still money that will have been for the Federation account. So everybody that is a member of FAC has to agree on the, on the numbers. The maximum will be 12 months. The minimum will be, will be six months. We thought it was important to do this to give people a chance to adjust before the, before the other support measures that federal government is working on materialize. And that is the provision of alternative to, um, to, to PMS, which is CNG, that is having mass transit vehicles transferring, uh, converted to CNG. And also the bringing on stream of petroleum refineries, including the Dangote refinery, so that it reduces even the need to import the PMS in the first place. So that's the logic behind uh, working, uh, targeting the middle of uh, next year. This money is meant to provide relief to the very poor and the very vulnerable. And from the experience that we have had on the conditional cash transfer, it shows that that 5,000 Naira that some people think is small, it actually makes a difference to families. It helps them to provide not only their basic needs, but we've seen uh, women who are caregivers of these families actually start doing small trades and they're able to maintain themselves thereafter. So in a way, it is not just consumption, it also helps to improve the productive activities of people that are at the uh, bottom of the pyramid. I remember during the COVID-19 pandemic, we had more people becoming vulnerable, especially in the urban area. So we're not covering just the rural uh, uh, and, um, poor, but also the urban, the urban poor. And the, this exercise of the registration will be led by, uh, the, in, on the part of the federal government, the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs has that responsibility. They're already developing this register. But the states are also going to be actively involved in providing this electronic register through which these payments platforms will be, will be uh, through, we, through which the transfers will be undertaken. And also, how long will this intervention last? Okay, six months to 12 months. And we're still, the committee is still working, so we'll have a landing very soon on how, how long, how much, and then the procedure on a state-by-state -state basis.